What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to I Ninja Semi Blind. You remember from the la nice one. Shut up, Jesse. You remember from the last one where we accomplished literally nothing. We went from like the double wide episode where we got a lot done and a new katana to the single wide episode where nothing happened. You know what? That's probably a good sign if the, if it's only red to do those levels again. Yeah. Especially if the next the next one is black belt, right? Yeah. You just have to find the last one. It's not up there. We that was where the cloud one was. What do you want? This way to the crystal cavern and clouding around. Psh. Oh. Okay, well, I guess he just told me that the two levels that we needed to go do over there are up there. Off only Splatoon did that to me. That's actually my hardest part about Splatoon 2. You get lost? It, is I can't figure out where the levels are. Is that true? Yeah, I straight up can't find them. Is, that, is that really true? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know Splatoon was uh, open like, world. No, it's not really open world, but basically like, there's a hub world and you have to find the levels in it. And I, had no I idea. actually have a really difficult time trying to find some of the levels. Like, usually I can find most of them, but then there'll be like one level left and I just can't find it. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that about Splatoon. I mean, I feel stupid because I'm sure most people are like, what are you, dumb? Like, that's that's the stupid thing. I've also never on. played, I've never played Splatoon. Uh, well, I have played Splatoon, but I have never, like, you know. Campaigns are pretty fun. Especially, I, I heard I, wanted, I heard the real DLC for Splatoon 2 is really good. It's Isn't it really, really expensive? Though. It's really hard, though. I don't know, dude. It's like another six-hour campaign from what I understand. It's How like long is the real campaign? Plus six hours. And that's acceptable for sure. And they think the Splatoon 2 DLC is only like 20 bucks, and I think it gives you like more weapons, and it gives you that new Octopath, like Octopus thing. Octo. What do you call it? <laughs> Not a level called Sneak and Destroy. Isn't that a song name? Move carefully through the caves no, and watch and destroy. destroy. No, Seek and Destroy. Patience to or is it that too? Without being detected. Shh. Yeah, sure. Gotta go. See ya. Yeah. He, he's, he's speaking for me now. The ninja is literally speaking for me. I thought that was an eyeball. Ah. My Alexa Is that an Eggman? Look at all those Eggman's robots. Eggman robos. Look at all those Eggman's robots. What he says, that is so cool. Whoa! Alexa, stop! Is... What is Alexa saying? She wants me to go to the gym. Go to the gym. Chessie, oh, Alexa, Chessie. tell Trevor to get gains. <laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> we both <laughs> away. <laughs> well, it lit up, it lit up, and then it was just like, no. <laughs> tell him to get gains. <laughs> That's my boss, I can't. I'll get fired. Tell him to get games. Okay, so I'm supposed to sneak around and get the grade. I'm actually just gonna speedrun this. I do want the sword though, you know? Like, we're pretty close to a katana, and if there's lots of guys to kill, we should fire off before we kill guys. Is this where I came from? Yeah, it is. I'm a street walking cheetah with a heart full of napalm. Boom, damn, damn, damn. I know this guy coming. So I'm assuming the black versions of the ranks are probably the strongest in the game. Probably. Because, I mean, they're all based on the belts. And since we already. You didn't see any purple enemies, so. Yeah, if we went. You're straight... in the final world, I feel like you'd see purple enemies. Well, if we went straight from red to black, you know? That's probably it. And I don't think you need the black belt to fight the final boss. I could be wrong about that, but I doubt it. Considering we've already had to do a fair bit of grinding in this game. Yeah, we pretty much almost 100%ed like the first two worlds, have we not? Yeah. With the exception of that one, like, turret level. I really thought he was gonna hit me there. I was like, why did you just run up and kill him, Pepper? Where is that even? I don't know where that is. Oh, it's just around the corner. Good game design, by the way. Gotta give these games credit for when they do it right. They essentially, I would, they could have just been like, you did it! You know, the door is open, but they actually panned out the camera and showed me exactly where the door was in like relative fashion to where I was. Yeah. By the way, this was not me being sneaky. I just actually wanted those barrels. <laughs> it worked in my favor, but like, I just wanted those barrels. I'm not gonna break that. This is gonna be the speed run level. A hundred percent. I'm pretty sure, like, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna get, like, done with this, and then that's gonna be it. Like, I, I seem to, like I said, I seem to remember beating the game with this red katana. Maybe, yeah. So, you know, I guess we're gonna find out. And most of these platform games don't actually require you to get 100% to complete it. No. 
I think Banjo Tooie is like one of the closest ones where you need 70 Jiggies to beat the game just barely. How many is in the game? There's only 90 in the game. Like, yes! Uh, yeah, 20 is, 20 is a lot. You can get, you can get all the way to the final level. You can finish the Tower of Tragedy. Yeah. In, uh, and even get the, like, the credit sequence with 50 Jiggies. Yeah. But then when you go up to the fight Grunty, it asks you for 70. That's so dirty. I, cause I got 50 and I was like, alright, time to finish the game for the first time. And then it's like, I did the whole thing and I'm like, let's just fight Grunty. And it's like, I need to go get 20 more Jiggies somewhere. It's actually really funny because when I was a kid, and I think I mentioned this when we did our playthrough of Banjo Tooie, I was pretty sure Grunty Industries was actually the last level of the game. No. Uh, Hailfire Peaks is probably harder than it. Hailfire Peaks is like further into the game too. Yeah, and uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land is. I don't even like every time you mention that, I'm always like, oh yeah, that is a thing. No, um, like. Cloud Cuckoo Land is a weird level, but no, uh, I so like... So strange, like, there's a bit with the cheese and, like, Grunty Industries isn't that hard, it's just kind of hard to find your way around. The only thing that's really hard is the boss. Grunty Industries? Oh, Welder. Welder. Oh, You're wow. You're lucky you did that your first try. Not only that, but it was, it was... That's why I told you, like, this boss is kind of tough already, and I'm like, oh, dude, you haven't seen nothing yet. And then the fourth <laughs> look, it's a Yeah, fight. and I was like, come on! <laughs> <laughs> I really did get lucky on Welder, though. Without question, I'll be the first one to admit that. I did not. There was no like crazy style or skill or anything. I was real lucky with Welder. I wonder if I could blow dart the computer turn. Uh, it seems unlikely. They're probably right? just gonna lock onto that robot. That was a I risk. don't trust this game ever with those. Well, I didn't. You, I didn't use them from with it until I kept falling <laughs> to my death. What you looked at me like it was my fault. You kept doing that. I did look at you. It's your fault. Okay, let it go. I haven't actually been caught yet, and that's kind of the gameplay mechanic for this level. Sorry, guys, I don't have time for you. Like, the whole gameplay mechanic is don't get caught, and I really haven't been caught. Yeah. Oh, do you remember those levels in Sonic Heroes when you play Espio, and you're not allowed to get caught? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is weird. You had to do all the finding levels? Like, they'd be like, find 100 chows, and then they'd be like, don't get caught by it the It wasn't enemies. 100, it was more like yeah, 7 yeah. or 8. But they would always be, I'd always have to replay stages like 40 times. Ugh. Team Chaotix, they'll protect you. Yeah. I don't remember the rest of the words that song. And I know all the lyrics to all the songs. I know all the lyrics to all the butt rock. I don't even know what the Team Chaotix sound song sounds like, because I haven't heard it in so long. I only know what this machine sounds like. Oh yeah, I haven't thought about this machine in a while. It's the only one I have on my iPod. I, it's funny you say that, because I have the I only have the Team Sonic one on my iPod. Uh, which is called... I can't remember what it's called, but it's like... I, I can I could probably sing it. I'm not gonna do it. What if my eye ninja power kills these things? It wouldn't. No. But it'd be cool if it could. It kind of feels like a cop out for the final power, hey? I guess so. Oh really? <laughs> Started the level. Really? Ah. Where are you? My last checkpoint. Which is pretty friggin' far, actually. Oh, okay then. <laughs> that was that was dodgy. <laughs> yeah, they they were they were all right about it. I'm not super mad about this checkpoint. It's not as bad as like the start of that one room. <laughs> that sucked. I don't imagine there's much more in this level. Actually. Um, I thought my mic turned off. I was like, oh crap. <laughs> Um, I don't remember the Team Rose one either. It's probably something another like Britney Spears song. They don't, they do sound like them, don't they? What? Uh, 80s songs. Oh yeah, I kinda do. You know what's- That's why I always pictured them as. Actually, Real Talk Tales' the theme song in Sonic the Hedgehog, like the, the 3D Sonic games, is actually fantastic. I love it, I just always listen to it. All those music is great, with the exception of Knuckles. I, li I like all the, uh, TR, like, character songs. I know, the butt rock, we know. <laughs> even Eggman. Actually, Eggman, that's a bad, that's a good song. Yeah, I can't is. even, that's not even a bad song. Again, I like, I love this about Sonic Adventure 2. I think like, you thought about that, I'm like, that's the only game where you play as Eggman. Yeah. And also, because it's the only game you play as Eggman, Eggman is at his most intelligent in that game. Well, because yeah, they're not going to have your player character be stupid or fail, right? Yeah. So you have to succeed. So they have to make Eggman succeed. Which is probably one of the best Sonic stories for that reason, just because Eggman is a very real threat. Eggman's a real be. villain. That's like, the he issue. has to be, right? Do I just... 
No, you definitely have to do something. You're probably going that cave over there, don't you? Is that? Or am I just looking? Come. You have to blow that up with a mission machine missile, don't you? Oh, you're right, dude. You're so right. And you know what? Wow, that was ballsy. You know what sucks? You know when I was at the missile machine, I was like, they're not gonna make me do more with the fence. <laughs> you're totally right. You were 100% correct. This does suck. Now that I say that, this checkpoint does suck because if I there's no checkpoints between here and the grade, oh, which yeah. means they'll put me all the way back if I screw this up. At least this is pretty easy. You were you were smart. I would have actually worked around that for a while. I want to try something real quick before we finish. Before we close out, I just want to see. Oh come on. <laughs> I'll give him credit, at least he responded to getting hit. You know? Yeah. At least the dude acknowledged that the missile hit him. But I wanted it to be bigger and cooler and like a little sexier. Okay, this is this is where actually all the marbles come into play. It was quick, it was easy, but if I got caught there they yeah. would have been like, <laughs> like all the way back. <laughs> Sorry, I, I tried to do a hand fart, but my hands were off. Did I get a new katana? No, but we're like two, right there. We're two ranks away from getting the new katana. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. I, what sucks is I skipped a couple guys. Oh yeah. I'm assuming it's 200 because it's 193, but we skipped like probably about seven enemies. Oh, so yeah. probably the boss fight is open. We can probably do that. Oh yeah, we have time. That was a surprisingly short level too. It's a very cool environment. Kind of a haunted canyon Strong sort of level. Again, the chain is real twitchy. That's why I said I never trust it. Like sometimes it works, sometimes sometimes it doesn't. You know what's really funny? We can talk about this now because I don't think we talk about it. We've probably talked about it a lot. But when I was a kid, I wanted games to be as long as possible. Like I wanted all video games. To I don't be know like, if I really thought that way, but I, I mean, totally sometimes did. I did. I think it's because I didn't. Longer. I didn't play. Like, I didn't have a lot Robo of video is games. Ridiculously short, so is Fable. But here's the thing: I didn't have a lot of video games growing up. I can never beat the ones I had usually half the time until the GameCube, so it didn't really make a difference to me. But like, man, I remember when I was a kid, and all I wanted was like. All I wanted was to play these games and like for them to last as long as they could possibly last and uh, It was always really sad to me when I got like a video game and like I was like oh, that's it. I remember I ninja being one of those games where I got to the end of it And I was like, oh, that's it. You know, we're done now That sucks. Whereas games like tie the Tasmanian Tiger 2 even though I finished it you can play that game forever I didn't even, Jesse, I actually didn't know about the enhanced boomerangs until my third playthrough of the game. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, you go, you talk to Sly, and you pay him a, like, a buttload of opals, and he's like, here, let me good pimp one out that you Deadly Ex Rang. You know, because explode or something? Well, there's the Kaboomerang, and that's really good, but then you get the Deadly Rang, and you're like, oh. <laughs> he's a red belt. Like, this guy's a red belt. Oh, this is you. Here, you can fight the boss. I don't want to fight the boss. You don't want to fight the boss? I'll fight him. Malachi. Is this story relevant or can I shush him? Now you must face Malachi, listen. Ogor's right hand man. He can control the elements with devastating effect. So stay alert. This might be a real Stay fight, off. actually. No. Well, this could be a brand new gameplay mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Like the Mac? Or, wow, we got a cutscene here? What's up with this? What game are we playing? This is black mage looking guy. Jeez, he's a generic looking enemy. <laughs> Oh, maybe it is a real fight. Wow, it's a real boss. Oh my gosh, or you're fighting not. a real boss. Okay, this is an actual boss boss. The first one in the game. And they're probably gonna there's act a, like There's a shurikens God. and stuff on the ground. Hey, thanks, game. And they're gonna act like it's uh, so a... Shit storm out of here. Why? Do that? They're actually hurting him. They are hurting him. They don't do a lot of damage, but they're hurting him. I'm assuming, I'm assuming if you hit him with enough, he's gonna get stunned or fall or something like that. Good save. Yeah, 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 they're doing damage. This is weird. We have... This is the very first real boss in this game. 
wondering if I can knock it back at Oh, 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 jump! Oh, I thought I was going under that. I would just always jump and stay through it. Remember, you will earn, if it's a real boss fight, you are going to actually earn your ninja powers. I mean, I don't even know how we're supposed to be fighting them. You're doing it right now. This is a really tedious Ineffective, fight. well, it's not going to be like this the whole fight, I assume. Stop going so fast. That's your fault. You're literally just hopping in lava at this point. Just throw your coat or your shurikens at him. No reason to store him. Just throw him at him. He takes damage anyway. You don't need to store him. It looks like once you hit him with enough. Oh, that's something I can make. It looks like once you hit him with enough, he does his laser beam. Can I knock that thing back or anything? I doubt it. I'm sure. You wanna try it again? Oh, I thought you were gonna do it. Yeah. Gonna do laser probably. Yeah, yeah, laser time. Oh, it's one of those games that gives you like a heartbeat sound or something if you're about to die. Okay, well, maybe this is the whole fight. So, uh, uh, how's your hammer hanging? Oh, uh, well, I'm just gonna kill myself. No. Uh, 35 lives! You're wasting our lives, bro! Where do we have lives, and when have we been picking them up? Coins? Okay, if I really have to just sit here and just spam these things. I'm legit dice. getting- I'm actually getting comfortable. I'm not even joking you. I just- I just moved around a bit. Just watch your footing. I'll try to come up with a story to talk about. Well, yeah, Jesse fights the world's most genius boss. I like how every time you dodge one of those, they give you a multiplier. Yeah, look at how sweet Jesse's ninja skills are. I wish they would just give you more of them. Like if they yeah, were, if, if they, they gave me like five per, this wouldn't be as bad. I get the feeling this fight's gonna change after you get him down to like a quarter health or half health or something. Because I don't believe that anyone is this daft as to game design to be like, okay, here's Trevor, how you kill the boss. 64 exists. Listen, this 007 is 007 not... racing exists. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor, I live in a world where 007 racing is a thing. Right, I'm back, but... This looks like you don't even have to like, you can just wait and like, they will spawn if you just hop between the same two platforms. I live in the sad real reality of the reality. You just whiff that shuriken so bad. I still think this fight's gonna change. Not that I remember anything about Malachi. I'm sure online someone's gonna tell us like, dude, if you time it better, you can totally knock his uh, energy ball back at him. He's just like Ganondorf. Is it weird they never added that? I feel Dude, like listen, Kendor should have a projectile. It should be that thing. And you should be like, it should be like the Gordo, where you, you should knock it back, it back at, him. at him. Yeah. That'd be cool, right? Yeah. Neutral B. It would give him a projectile for one. And his forward B, his down B should be the slam. You know when he slams the ground and knocks the, like, the ground out? Yeah. That should be his down B. Especially because this new Ganon in uh, Ultimate is the offering of Time Ganon. I actually don't understand why they're doubling down on Ganondorf so hard. Because he's been this way too long, so someone likes to play as him. Yeah. They I might not like to it if they change it too much. The same thing with Sonic. They're not going to no, no. change Sonic you know because he's been like this too long. Okay, here's the thing. You remember Twilight Princess Ganondorf? Yeah. Keep him that way, and then add Ocarina of Time Ganondorf. Make him the s make, make them him the sword Ganondorf because he did use the sword. But no, but what I'm I knew it. I knew it. What, the lava's gonna go away now? And you're gonna have to fight him, fight him. Okay, remember, these these fights are always like, let him hit you first. Oh my well, gosh! Okay, I don't know how I was supposed to really dodge that one, but... No, no, no. I guarantee he's gonna... Okay, there he is. Shield's down. Nope. Oh, okay, I don't know how to hurt him. He's gotta do something, right? I think it's there, man. Right here? No, 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 no. When he... No, no. I'm like when he does this, this slam, this here. What do you want me to do? I don't know. I just feel like that's what you have to wait for. Okay, 
Well, just if you just wait it out, because he's obviously just he's just doing this over and over again. What a dingus! Okay, there. Ah. Uh. Well, that's new. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, well, we, we thought there was something happening there. Not entirely not sure you can't knock those back. Okay, I'm just as confused as well. I mean... <laughs> okay, tag in. Have fun. I, I will not. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, why not just... There are three links in this game. They, separa Ganondorf. they separated Gan or Zelda and Sheik. Yeah, you could have two Ganondorfs. Why not? Yeah, Twilight Princess Ganondorf could be the current one, which is more of a sword fighter. And the uh, Ocarina of Time Ganondorf could be more just the Ocarina of Time Ganondorf. The ground pound, the, the ball. He even has that one where he really charges up a big ball. That could be a forward B. It could be a big charge. You have to charge his forward B, and then you shoot the big one. And since nobody has the spin attack except for Link, only Link should be able to reflect it. Yeah, there you go. Just for that added lore, because the game does do stuff like that. So, like how Incineroar takes and in Inkling takes damage in water. I think that's cute that they do stuff like that. Sonic also does too. Even though Sonic shouldn't take damage in water. Really. He shouldn't take damage in water, but it's cute that he does. I mean, if they just made him sink instantly, that would be oh really, really bad at this. I think they probably just were like, we should make him sink instantly, and then we realized, no, that would be very unfair. Well, yeah, it would, it would, you would be at a huge disadvantage in water levels. Like, a, like a huge, huge disadvantage. Literally just throw him off the stage and he's just dead. It'd be a little Mac situation. Worse than Little Mac. At least Little Mac can kind of get back sometimes. Though. That is a huge pet peeve of me. I don't play Little Mac with Nate anymore because, like, literally he will camp corners at, at the stage and just, like, throw me off at 30%. And I, before anyone in the chat or the comments was like, well then, you shouldn't be, like, getting knocked off, or you can recover with that little, like, percentage. Well, I'm not especially great at Super Smash Bros. Like, I'm not a wizard. I just want to see, it just feels so. like it, though, right? It's one of those situations where we have to at least get to the point where they're going to let us fight him. Yeah. Like, I can't practice the second form. The problem form. is you took a lot of damage already, because yeah, it's no. a lot harder than it looks. These platforms no. kind of go down. They don't feel like they—they they feel like they go down when you step on them, but not really. Yeah, I know. It's this is the way they move. So, yeah, I don't know. It's really—it's really tough to get a gauge on what I like, how I'm supposed to be, and what I'm supposed to be doing in this fight. Like, I don't really know how to hurt him. Oh god. Uh. Uh. Uh, they they actually do move faster than you might expect them to. Oh wow, I almost screwed that up real bad. Did, did he like make a? He made a response sound when I hit him. Yeah, he did. He sometimes does. Okay, so now now we're on the part you were at. Yeah. <laughs> See my one chair again. It's like thunk. Okay, this is where we got to figure out how to hurt the guy. I feel like you just gotta wait for him to attack, and then you can attack him, but I think we're just too slow. His hitboxes are really bad. Yeah, way. I figured that out. Okay, well, that's something. <laughs> Do you have to use your power? Press up on the... No, no, I don't want to use that yet. There's no way you have to use your power, because you have to generate it by hitting people. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Wow, he really... He yeah, really, like, you didn't even get hit by anything. He really there. leads that. Got him. Is that really just it's it? Just, it's just, it's about just so hard to out. dodge yeah, that it's move. It's just about waiting him out. That move is so hard to dodge, though. It's all about waiting him out. That's it. And I have a ninja revive coming up right away. So it's not bad. Okay, I got this. I can handle this. Yep, okay, alright. I can handle this. I can do this. But it's again, so it's real. It's, it's so real tough because I have to like let him hit me. So it's like I wish they gave us like here, right? Like I saw him winding up for it. I wish they gave us real bosses in this game before this, so we'd have a chance to figure out what we're supposed to be doing. I will also even argue that this this is a pretty neat boss. Yeah, but this is the first actual. Like, this is our boss first boss. boss. Yeah. Come on, do it again. Hit me. Hit me. Do the thing. Can you camera please? Thank you. There we go. I feel like that move hit me way easier than it hit you for some reason. I'm also well. I've also figured out that hitboxes just. 
jump to the side, like there. It doesn't even, I don't even have to jump properly, I just have to kind of dodge it. Thank goodness they let me ninja revive though, at least that was cool of them, right? Like they super didn't have to let me ninja revive. I suppose, it's the only way to heal in this game. Well no, but I mean like, I, they could have just been like, alright, fight the boss. Like if this was Crash Bandicoot, they'd be like, deal with it. Come on, do it. You gonna do the shockwave, but I don't got- Hey! Cut that shit out. Oh, wow, even did that with the camera. <laughs> I wonder he's if he's not doing the shockwave at all. Yeah, I know. Well, it's because I'm not giving him enough distance. He only does the shockwave when you give him distance. I'm, what do you, I don't know if you noticed this, but I'm trying to keep him at a very particular distance from me. Because he seems to only use... He'll teleport if I'm too close, but he only seems to use, like, his staff attacks if I'm, like, in this range. Like, come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to bait out the move I know for a fact I can, you know. Yeah, because you, you you might be able to with the others, but you want to take that chance. Exactly. I just want to... Yeah, exactly. I just know this works, and because I know it works, I'm just exploiting it. It's like a lot of Devil May Cry games I do this, where I find where, like, the windows are, and I just abuse it. And now I have, like, a, almost a full heal on me, too. So it's fine. I'm not gonna, obviously I'm not gonna waste any of my other powers on him. Yeah. Maybe if I get like I Ninja or something. But if it like, works. I doubt it will, but, ow. Well now I'm not. Okay, do it again. Do it again. Come on, stand up. Do it again. Do it again. That one probably That counts, that counts. I think to be honest, Jesse, I think any of them count. I think they all count, I just think you have to initiate, right? That probably counts, yeah. It's funny because I know he's supposed to have like a wizard hat, but like look at his picture and his emblem, it looks like he has a sombrero on. <laughs> Is it, I don't even remember the Odor fight. That's the final boss. That's the final boss. Hmm. I don't even remember anything about that boss. I know I know it's an actual boss, eh? Like I know it's like this. Like this, you fight yeah. him, fight him. You fight him, fight him, but I don't remember the actual boss. I don't know if he's hard, I don't know if he's easy, like I'm not even sure. Come on, come on. Do it again. Do it again. We're gonna try. Because I'm pretty confident. Oh! 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 It dunked him so hard! Oh! It dunked him so hard! <laughs> this, is, this doesn't normally happen, I don't know if you guys know this. If you kill him regularly, you don't get the elemental explosion ending. Mission complete. Just, I just really want more than anything. Just the the, sword? No, I just want the uh, the scene from um, what is it called? Friggin' uh, Kung Pao, where like the narrator just like goes like, "Holy crap, man! <laughs> Did you see that?" <laughs> Free at last. Okay, that's not where I thought that was going. Yeah, me either, dude. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Who is this? Buddy? I don't know. What are you doing? Why is she talking Stand back, like sister. <laughs> when I start raging, people get hurt. Uh, that's a teleport stone. Oh, right. How does it work? That you stone it, will it. allow you to travel great distances in an instant. Beware of Odor. Okay. He has what the most this? powerful stone of them all. Did you just blow a kiss? It has the ability to bring people back from the dead. Oh. Sensei would like to hear that. <laughs> the funny thing about this is, this, why is she sprawled out? <laughs> I think they were trying to like make her as sexy as possible as a joke. Handy too. Cause Trevor, they literally started this scene up with the. Oh, I'm so <laughs> glad I got back out of there. <laughs> oh, uh. Like I thought they were just gonna have like a bad scene there, and I was like, um, this is an E-rated game, is it not? <laughs> I want an adult. I am an adult. Oh, this is an actual world? Ninja. Odor has terraformed this rock into a base to launch his invasion on our planet. His defensive outposts have got to be here somewhere. Go find them and frag anything that moves. Great. Frag them? Excuse me? That's the first person shooter, sir. How dare you? How dare you, sir? Is that the end of this episode? Probably. Probably? Yeah, alright. So thanks for watching. Let's play I Ninja Semi Blind. Thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry about the weird us figuring out the boss fight thing. Yeah. Join us in the next part. I just, before we end this, I'm just gonna do a quick check. I don't remember this actually being a world map or not, but it kind of looks it like is. it is. It's the same point. 
but I just want to make sure it's not like, yeah, okay, so there's actual levels, and it kind of looks like Odor is locked behind this purple door. I'm Hopefully guessing. Hopefully that means you can get there with the black, though. Actually, I don't know. We pr it might just be like we just need to finish the levels, to be honest, Jesse. I don't think there's... Alright, press X to talk to Sensei, let's just see. This launch pad needs to be activated. Go find the grades in both of the outposts, and I'll try to find the on button. Oh, okay, so we have two more levels to do, and then we're done. Alright. Alright, well, anyway, thanks for watching. I, Ninja, semi-blind, just to the next part, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.